For the last few years, MDC has been on a buying spree. But are they spreading themselves too thin? This is Media Beat. Look, things change. Anyone with a camera and a computer right now should pay attention, attention. to the the way as we all do, may evolve. So as chief strategist and one who identifies potential acquisitions for MDC, uh, what's your criteria for picking and choosing? I, I don't really, I don't assess a lot of the businesses that MDC partners with that are sort of outside of my realm. Um, and my realm is pretty small, you know. Uh, I look mostly at, at people who kind of do what we do, people who are in the, in the creative business, whether they're a design company or an advertising agency or digital or whatever. I look at people who are actually building stuff and creating stuff. Um, and my, cri my criterion is the work. Um, you know, all agencies, I've talked to, I don't know, 60 advertising agencies, 70 in the last five or six years, and they all say the same thing, and so do we. You know, all agencies say, well, we're media neutral, and we look for the big idea, and they all say the same thing. So it almost becomes irrelevant, because I know what they're going to say. I just want to look at the work. Is there ever a worry that maybe you're spreading yourself too thin? Um, I'm not really sure about, about spreading yourself too thin. I think that uh, that's a management issue. You know, that's an issue of managing the partner agencies, and I don't really deal with that. Thank God, because I wouldn't be very good at it. My objective is to have all of the MDC, MDC partner companies um, be good enough so that they all want to work with each other, even if they weren't partners, you know, even if they weren't a sister company. That they're so good and they're so good at what they do that, you know, that we would partner with them and work together with them regardless. So, and, and I, you know, the, it's, that is something we think about. What is the working relationship like with Miles Nadal? It's, um... He's good. got quite a lot to say on Twitter, I know that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, Miles is, a, Miles is an interesting guy, and Miles and I fundamentally agree about most things, and sometimes we disagree about stuff, and sometimes we disagree pretty strongly about stuff. So, um, but I think, you know, I think we have mutual respect. You know, I think I think Miles respects me because, you know, because we made a good agency, um, and I certainly respect him because he's a he's a terrific entrepreneur. He's a brilliant money guy, and so that's what it comes from. I, I, what I like about Miles is that he can laugh at himself. You know, and I think an awful lot of people who are in a job like that, they're very serious people who take themselves very seriously. Miles is a serious guy, but he can laugh at himself, and he can he can. Um, he can see the, uh, you know, the absurdity of the world. So we have good conversations. I like to have a drink with him. You know, when you break it down to that, that's it kind <laughs> at of the is, end of the you day. You know what I mean? It's kind of who do you want to hang out with? <laughs> yeah. And he's fun to hang out with. Do you uh, abhor the term holding company? I, I mean, holding companies are holding companies. Yeah. You know I mean? That's what they are. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and holding companies, you know, it's interesting, I think, because originally when they, when they first started to do the roll-ups, um, they weren't about the clients and they weren't about the work, they were financial plays, you know, because these agencies, somebody discovered, Martin Sorrell and a few other people and the Satchis discovered, hey, they're worth way more on Wall Street than they are on Madison Avenue. So we'll roll them up and we'll sell them, you know, we'll take them public and we'll make a lot of money. So it was all about the money and that's okay, you know, that's what, that's what entrepreneurs and financial guys do and that's fine. But, but then they kind of tried to backfill. Okay, we rolled these agencies up, we took them public. Now here's why it's good for clients. And they kind of had to backfill that. And, and, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. But I, I don't think holding, com holding companies are a reality, you know? And independent agencies are springing up and generally speaking, their exit plan is to sell to someone, you know, generally speaking, with the exception of Dan Wyden, who I admire. <laughs> um, and so they are what they are. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, an economic reality of the business.